what's going on guys crypto Hoy here and in this video i want to do something different uh, usually i do crypto updates and crypto reviews but after this news came out about the soccer player and how he protected his uh, assets you know his fortune i i would take this a step further and say that if you're investing in crypto you should also take that extra precaution when it comes to your crypto investments and digital assets because in case you don't know uh, in a divorce if they know that you're investing in crypto or that you have, you know, you have uh, money and fortune in crypto, they can actually go after that as well and claim half of your investments, half of your earnings. And I'm going to show you that in here just a bit. But first, let's uh, focus here on this news that is titled Uno Reverse Football Player Ash Raft Hakimi. Sorry if I, if I butcher the name. Uh, wife seeks half his fortune after divorce discovers he owns nothing all right and there's a lot of people saying that you know city boys up and this is something very rare this doesn't really happen because what usually happens in the family court is that uh the guy is, is you know the breadwinner most of the time like 99 percent of the time and whenever there's a divorce well his wife gets half of his well, everything that he earned all his properties or even loses his house and is given to her um and so you know things like that tends to happen and so that's why when this news came out a lot of you know city boys they're saying that you know city boys up and there's so many memes so many stuff going on right now on social media about this people are just going wild they're running with this and i get it uh because he actually did something very very smart and also there's some people saying the contrary of this which is you know he's not traditional that's not a traditional man and you know i'll get to that as well i'll, I'll share my thoughts about what i think because I'm also a believer in red pill. There's some things I disagree with red pill, but for the most part, I tend to agree. Um, but uh, but pretty much what I want to say is this. We have to be smart when it comes to our money, our investment, and we have to be really careful with the person we decide to be with. And even taking those precautions, we still need to be uh, taking extra layer of precautions after we are also, uh, you know, let's say that we're doing well in our money, we're prosper, there's a lot of wealth prosperity uh, financially we're growing and so we need to be uh, ready when you know when things happen you know things can happen and we don't really know the intentions of the person until stuff happen okay and a little bit of backstory here is uh you know the age difference okay and that's fine i'm not really saying that there's something wrong with this but it's something to consider okay um and so he is he was 19 years old okay this soccer player hakimi was 19 years old when he met her and she was 31 years old okay and they've been together since 2018 so about five years and i believe they also have two kids if i'm not wrong um they also have two kids okay that's great but here's the thing okay uh, he is a PSG player. Um, he plays for a soccer team, I guess, in uh, France or Paris. And then uh, he's earning one million dollars a month, okay, which is a lot. But here's a here's a little uh, curveball: eighty percent of his money is deposited to his mother uh, Fatima's accounts. And at first look, like it says here, the twenty-four year old, okay, so he's twenty-four uh, now. Uh, he appears not to own any property including cars houses jewelry or even his own clothes okay so that is just like crazy right but also now we have even more news more information about what's happening because his mother which is her right here is claiming that uh, she didn't know about the fortune transfer and she said my son didn't inform me of the fortune transfer and then uh, says Hakimi's mother said that if her son had not made the fortune transfer, he would not have been able to get rid of Hiba Habuk, which is his ex-wife now. All right. Which is the one that we saw here in the picture, which is her. Uh, but anyways, this right here kind of tells me that although his wife, which is her, Abuk, filed for divorce and was after half of his uh, fortune or his assets, this tells me that there was already issues going on in his marriage and he was already thinking of how to get out of that marriage because of him, what, what he said here, that he would not have been able to get rid of Heba Abuk. But she tried to beat him to the punch by filing, I guess, first for divorce and also at the same time going after his assets, half of all of his fortune, but got hit with a big reverse card, Uno reverse card, when she found out that he doesn't own anything. And also, just so you guys know, um, you know, she's a ex-model. I don't know if she does model anymore or not, 
uh, but she might be looking to get in a job in modeling now after this news um, I think so perhaps that's for sure but one thing I do want to say is that in the court system uh, in the in the Western uh, world society uh, Western countries um, and and also here in the United States it says crypto and the courts it says cryptocurrency is treated like any other asset in the family courts so they consider cryptocurrency digital assets also similar to like physical assets so let's say that you're investing in crypto and you have a shared or joint bank account and you're getting money from that joint account to invest in crypto even though she's not doing anything it's not her money but just the fact that you're using it with her name on it she's has she's also entitled to half of that as well which is known as commonwealth in some uh in some states or in some areas but yeah she is entitled to that even though she didn't put any money she didn't contribute anything any decisions it was all you but yet she she is entitled to that or half of that in case you guys go into a divorce and let's say that even if you guys don't have a shared bank account it's all under your name it still wouldn't matter in a lot of uh western uh like world or uh, countries especially in the united states depending on which state you are on but most of them it will still be considered as com common wealth that even though it's just your name on the bank account but since you guys were living together you guys were married um, she's also entitled to half of that now there is a little bit of backlash because a lot of uh people like in tiktok they're saying that you know he's supposed to be traditional how can a guy that uh is traditional wants you know a traditional woman when in a divorce is not traditional well here's a little piece of information in case you guys don't know 70 percent of divorce is initiated by women and uh 90 percent of them if they're uh, like uh, college graduates then or they have a bachelor's degree or something like that they initiate 90 percent of the divorce so pretty much uh the right now how it is in the dating market and the and the marriages it is all against men and in the court system guys they lose like 95 percent of the time or 97 percent of the time or so they lose uh custody of the children and also they have the risk of uh uh, losing their property like almost half of their fortune like is you know like it was about to happen to this guy but but he was smart and he transferred all of it to his mom's uh mother's name and also to pay alimony okay and some have to pay a high amount of alimony so my take is this for a traditional man okay uh for a woman to say that he's not being traditional i disagree with this because women are not being traditional either all right like you're supposed to stick with him through good and bad it's easy to be with somebody when everything is you know shining the sun is bright but when it starts to rain or there, there's a rainy day you quickly decide to just leave and not support you know your traditional man or not to be there and i understand there is some uh, allegations about grape or stuff like that but while it is not proven and if her life is not in danger then there's you then you shouldn't be leaving the marriage and my take is this you should only have the option to divorce if there's any dv or your life is in danger or if, if there's any infidelity i think that if any of those things happen dv your life is in danger or infidelity then you should have the the option to divorce but if it's none of those things like your life is not in danger there's no dv going on there's no infidelity then uh there's really no reason why to divorce because you're supposed to be with each other during you know through through health and also through sickness when you're rich and poor you know those are usually the vows otherwise all that goes in the trash and there's no really no point for marriage at that point and if there's no point for marriage then why is the point of being traditional in the first place okay but again those are my takes when it comes to this and one last thing that i wanted to add is something that uh uh, Patrick Bet David said on valuetainment, which I totally agree, and that's something that he does. Okay, everybody's able to do whatever you guys want in a marriage or in a relationship or whatever. But one thing that he does is that he has his own bank bank account. He, his wife has her own bank account, and they both have a joint bank account. And let's say you guys actually do that. So she has her bank account, you have yours, and then you guys have a joint bank account. And then that way you guys have a prenup and now you're kind of pre like uh, setting up layers of protection, not just for you, but also for her. And of course, in those prenups, you guys can set it up however you guys like. And it's a way to kind of protect yourself and your assets as well, because I can assure you that if she was the breadwinner and if this would have happened, 
and let's say that he was going after her assets and then she would have put all of her fortune under her mother's name there wouldn't be any backlash okay um they would have seen this all, all the girls or the women that would have been doing the same thing they wouldn't been saying uh city girls up they would just say this as something that you know a girl should do girl power or i don't know they would have been celebrating this as well so that's why um, all the backlash that he's getting i don't think he should listen to that i think he did a great decision on this also traditionally what used to happen is that a guy yes maybe he wasn't rich he was on his way you know building his wealth but they would marry young and she will be part of him building up you know his his wealth and that way when he was already up there most of the time she wouldn't leave him because they both know how they had to work hard to to get up there but nowadays that's not what happens what happens is that a girl wants to move in when the castle has already been built she doesn't want to build the castle she wants to just move in she's waiting at the at the finish line of the race she doesn't want to do anything she wants to move in when it's built and then move out with her hands full of gold and traditionally that's not how it worked they were marry young both of them would marry uh, uh, would marry young and then they would both go to struggles okay like maybe live in a really uh, crappy apartment drive a really bad car maybe he was working two jobs and here and there and she will be home taking care of the kids right uh and cooking uh, she would take care of everything so that he could just focus on the career, on his uh, mission, right? On him building the wealth. And she will be home taking care of everything the rest. So he doesn't have to worry about iron, ironing, preparing his clothes, nothing. Just focus on getting the bacon, right? Uh, earning that bread. And so, and then that's how they will work together as a team, right? And then uh, when once you reach your wealth, then she will stick around. Why? Because she was there witnessing all of your struggles and vice versa and know how hard it was to get there. And therefore you would value it even more. But nowadays, like I said, that's not the traditional way anymore. Now it's like, well, she wouldn't even consider you unless you already have your house already your big house she wouldn't even consider you unless you're already earning 100k or more she wouldn't even look at you unless you're driving a very nice car uh, or you're wearing some very uh, nice clothes and so those are the things that have changed it's no longer the traditional way how it was before now like i said she would only move in once you have all those check uh boxes are marked and then then she'll decide to you know move in when it's when you have already done all the hard work pretty much okay and expect half of it when she plans to move out she wakes up one morning she's like you know what okay there's no dv my life is not in danger he has been faithful there's no infidelity but you know what i don't have any butterflies anymore uh i don't feel that that excitement therefore i want to just live my life i'm bored i don't like this uh, i just want a divorce and unfortunately that's what happens and so that's what we got to protect our uh, protect ourselves uh, uh, guys and also our assets physical and digital so i'll leave you with this share your thoughts down below and i'll see you in the next one peace